So now what is happening here is enemy Nutters will come and hit me which is fine, I go in with Celia, nullify everything. So now, it's okay if he remove it with Rafidia, right? Because I Velfer next. And then Asmode to go here. Oh no. Alright, you can see that combo is pretty cancerous. <laughs> that combo is pretty cancerous. Okay, Grand end up surviving as well. Which is sick! My god, that, that, that combo is just ridiculous. Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here, welcome back to another Brave 9 video. Alright, so let's start off today by talking about the Enjoy the Battle Package for 10 Legend Scrolls, you know, 120 Legend Book Skill Pieces, 500 Honor Points, blah blah blah, alright. Is this worth it? Eh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I think if you are new, if you need lots of Legend Books, and if you just started the game, I can see this being worth it, but I think for most players, I'm gonna say no because like the like what can you get with with 10 Legend Scrolls, right? I think the 10 plus 1 event just ended and I think majority of the players have already spent right there. And yeah, 120 pieces I don't think is worth it. I think most players are going to struggle with companions more than the legend skill books itself, more than the skill level itself. So if you are you know in that boat where you struggle with companions, I would just you know say hold off on buying this package, but if you really need to skill up your Velfen, your Mamonair, ETC, but that doesn't make sense, Velfen or Mamonair, you will be able to pick either one, right? Unless you go and transfer their skills away. But yeah, take, take advantage of skill transfer so you don't have to like get legend skill books. Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about the combo between Galenia and Gran. Now I know this is probably one of the, the sickest combo, the most cancerous combo. Why is this thing again here? Alright, so we're going to talk about it, but first, Flower of Freedom Seal. We have to buy this. I'm a seal uh, abuser. Of course I'm buying that. Of course, why not? Okay, nice background. I like it. Okay, uh, let me show you guys what a Grand Galenia is capable of. Alright, uh, I'm gonna attack this guild shortly. I mean this uh, formation, but I just want to... Okay, uh, this is going to be a short showcase. I'm recording this on my phone, so my audio might be a bit jacked up. So here's what's going to happen right here. Enemies formation. Okay, before we proceed, a lot of my guildmates are struggling with this formation. Alright, and this is something that most players will struggle with. Like, look. Alright, I'm not here to, to shame anyone. Alright, it's, it's okay if you struggle with formations like this because it's truly cancerous. And it really is. Okay, if you look at this formation right here, what's happening right here? Uh, Grand, right? Galenia to Grand. So, a lot of mindset when players see this, they try to counter with Ventana. Ventana, I'm gonna go with Vals, I'm gonna go with Alec. You don't. You don't. You're screwing yourself up if you do that, alright? Galenia to Grand is just one of the can most cancerous combo ever out there, period. There's no way to get rid of Galenia Grand, alright? The only counter right now is her mother freaking Celia and I know most of you still don't want to build her if you use Vals you can't nullify Grant because Vals will get nullified back on herself you can't nullify the Galanya's buff so the only person that can remove Galanya's buff from Grant is Celia it's just how it is alright so for me this is an easy formation alright because I look at this alright there's Nathas and then he's going to go with Seal R to Grand. I'm going to block with Livia right there. And then the strategy that I'm going with is just going to be... I'm going to go Celia first. And then Velfern afterwards to try to sweep. Again, Celia and Velfern is just the sickest combo ever. Alright, if you guys have not utilized it anywhere in PvP and Guild Wars, it's just, it's just truly sick. So this guy is Nathas first. I'm going to block uh, Mamone with Bane. Bane with Mamone. So he will not have Taunt. Grand will have Taunt, but it's fine. I'm going to nullify that with Celia. I'm going to go in with Valfern. Hopefully, take care of everyone, right? So if I look at this, he's going to go with 1. I'm going to go with my Celia afterwards. And then he's going to go with 2, 3. He's Celia. I'm going to block with Cecilia. And then I'm going to use go with Valfern afterwards. And if his Valfern move, it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that his Celia cannot one-shot my Cecilia. Alright, so let's go. Alright, let's see how well this works. Alright, I'm going to slow down a little bit so we can observe what's happening right here. So again, uh, Livia will always have that high defense even with Celia 
there's no way to one shot so this is just to remove that buff okay so Seto going in and hit that is okay Ben will not have torn so now what is happening here is enemy Nutters will come and hit me which is fine I go in with Celia nullify everything so now it's okay if he remove it with Rafitia right because I Velfer next and then Asmode to go here oh no Alright, you can see that combo is pretty cancerous. <laughs> that combo is pretty cancerous. Okay, Grand end up surviving as well. Which is sick! My god, that that, that combo is just ridiculous. Alright, fortunately, uh, I still have my Livia right here. I'm still gonna get 3 star. But you guys saw how cancerous that was. Because uh, my Velfen ended up dying. Which is what it is, right? What happens is Celia can help you nullify all Galanya's buff in one go if you have the perfect setup and that is just something that's invaluable i don't see that on on a vals yeah she has pretty decent range at plus 15 but that's only if you get her at plus 15 sila can do that at plus zero by the way yes she, she will need round two to do that but you have to consider like right here if you look at that battle i feel like you know i feel like Celia's worth it okay so you will see combos like this a lot no matter where you go pvp guild wars mystic island Okay, so this is something that's very cancerous. So what this guy does is uh, Galenia will buff someone in the middle and then Grant will be in that range. Now ideally you would think, okay, let me use a Ventana or whatever. But you can't do this. After you use Ventana, you have to use someone else, right? Because you have to kill Grant twice, essentially. So it's really hard to achieve it in round one. But in round two, you can practically do it if you have Celia. So in my case, let's see if I can showcase one good formation against this. So ideally with Rafitia and Galenia, uh, something that's very annoying against them is yes, they do have one of the very one of the most cancerous buff ever. But what a lot of people are undervaluing is the value of nullifier counter. And that is where Mamone comes in, right? So having Mamone can be really really good in situations like this. I'll just use a Seto right here, let's go. Let's see if I can showcase what Galenia can do. I mean, so how do you counter a uh, Galenia's Galenia buff grant without a uh, Ventana? Okay, so of course, if you have Ventana, it's going to be much more easier, uh, or Alec or Vals, but you have to use a combination of them. So what my formation focuses on is just having someone like uh, in my case we have Celia, okay, Celia and Velfen combination. So that is to take care of everyone. Okay, so in case you guys are wondering what happened to why is Alec and Vals dead, right? So because what happens right there, um, Velta removes all the buffs. Alright, so as you can see, so I do have Celia to Velfen combo. This combo is good to get rid of Grand for sure, although you are doing it in round 2, but I feel like in most cases, it's safer. Now, obviously, you know, getting Celia to plus 12 just to counter Grand is can be a bit expensive and it's something that I think players have to consider themselves, alright? If you look at your resources and you can decide between, there's so many options, right? Some players would prefer Alex, some players would prefer Vals and it's always like in between of which like uh, heroes or mercenary that you can benefit off from more but Celia is like practically free to everyone I strongly believe that most veteran players will have at least one Eno laying around, therefore you have at least one spare Gunter laying around. So I don't think that's a big problem and I do think that the rest of the mysteries can easily be obtained as well. So fusing a Celia is pretty much free. The only thing that you need to worry about is the skill transfer because once you build a Celia, the next time that you want to transfer her skills away, you can't because she is a fusion only mercenary. So that's something that players have to consider and weigh in. Personally, I don't think this Grand to Galenia combo is going away anytime soon. Even if another supporter come out, right? That is almost as cancerous as Galenia, maybe with removable buffs or something like that. Now, I don't see like this specific combo that gives Grand like immortality will just go away just like that, right? It's just something that is extremely strong and you need like a very specialized unit. And Celia is that specialized unit because she her skill specifically counters, you know, debuff reflection from Gran 
and the flame guard from Seto. So yeah, she's the only niche unit that has the ability to specifically counter those two. And of course, it's gonna depend on, you know, your resources, etc. But if you already have Ciola, and if you already have Celia at somewhat like decent skill level, plus 6, 7, 8, definitely I would consider her as an option for sure to get up to plus 12. And then you can see where you want to go from there. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know what is your current preferred methods to deal with Galenia Grand Combo. Because I'm just curious like what methods would you guys use to tackle this. They are literally everywhere in Guild Wars, in Mystic Island, in PvP as well. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Have a nice day. Goodbye.